Bowler's Paradise. Hi, I'm David Stanfield, and welcome to the North Shore of Maui in the Hawaiian Islands for the Maui Windsurfing Grand Prix. This international regatta has attracted the world's finest windsurfers, and the competition promises to be action-packed with course racing, dual surf slalom, and the high-flying freestyle event. I should be saying goodnight I really shouldn't stay anymore It's been so long since I found you Forgotten what love is for I should I Oh, riding a new wave of popularity. Windsurfing has become the hottest new water sport on the planet. Top sailors from Japan, Africa, England, Switzerland, Australia, and all parts of North America have converged on the island of Maui for the Pipeline and O'Neill Wetsuits $8,000 Grand Prix. This first of its kind event in the sport of windsurfing is organized by Sailboards Maui. Two of windsurfing's most famous competitors, Robbie Nash and Mike Waltz. Well, Robbie's, uh pretty much a wizard. He stepped into the sport at a really young age in a really hot place and it was just like natural to him. At that time I really needed something to grab onto because I did everything. I played football, basketball, skateboard. Changed my life completely. I started doing well in school. Didn't do any drugs or anything because that didn't impress any of the guys that I was hanging around with. When I saw him pull up in the car he was this little scroungy 13 year old kid and uh, ended up getting second. And about four months later, he won the Worlds. Robbie's been the forerunner of a lot of things. He invented the rail ride. You know, he's probably the first guy to do radical upside-down jumps. His style is its unique. It's a little bit different than everybody else's. I am a surfer and I am a sailor. Windsurfing is my life. The style that I've adapted is to make it perfect to the point where it is my life. Mike Waltz looks like he was um, about six feet tall, and then someone put him in a little box and squished him down into a little gorilla. Incredibly strong in sails that way. Learned how in Newport Beach, way back when. It was a converted surfboard with about a 20 square foot sail. The whole time I was surfing too, since I've been about 10, and was more into surfing than windsurfing. I think it was in 78 at one of the regattas. I really got inspired by watching Ken Winter and Mark Robinson and Court Larned. And about the time I decided to move to Hawaii was about three months after Footstraps came out. Just putting those two things together and watching guys jump, I just had to go do it. Ken, you're seven-time world champion. Is competition everything in the sport of windsurfing? Competition is a, an important part of it for me uh, and for most of the people here. But the sport is the kind of sport that anybody can do, anybody can enjoy, whether they're on a flat lake with five knots of wind or in the ocean with 15 foot seas and 30 knots of wind. Based on traditional yachting rules, course racing was originally designed by the Europeans. Here, the world's top men and women competitors will round the buoys with an expected winning time of about 40 minutes. Robbie Nash takes the lead on his Mistral sailboard.
The Swiss champion Carl Mesmer finished the heats with a second and a third. Carl is the only sailor within range of catching Robbie Nash, the 18-year-old four-time world champion who dominated today's course racing with two big wins. Tomorrow will be the finals. I'm talking to Hawaii's Pete Cabrina. Pete, can you tell us the difference between the two board designs in competition today? Yeah, we're well, looking at them right here. Obviously, this is a longer board. It's a regatta type board. It's mostly for going around a design course. The main difference is length in the water line. And um, it has an adjustable dagger where we're going up wind. And you kick it all the way down like this um, so you get to the first mark. And then kick it back accordingly to you know, how far of a reach it is. And um, this board right here is a little shorter for uh, surfing. And um, the object is to try to make it as close to the surfboard as you can. You know, really thin in the tail and uh, good straps. In the jump waves, you can just lock and control and lift it any way you want like this. Otherwise, it's a pretty basic board. It's you know, mostly like a surfboard. Good, there's the start. In the triangles, we have upwind, downwind, reaches, everything in the course racing. That takes a longer board, a pretty specialized board in shape so that it goes well in all points of sail. And you also have to use tactics, sailing ability instead of just plain windsurfing ability. You have to know what to do to get upwind and what to do at marks when there's a lot of people. It's a bit more demanding mentally than it is physically. A lot of people build boards that seem to be the perfect thing and then take it out and it doesn't work at all. No one can jump on a board immediately and do really well. You have to learn how to sail it. Robbie, you won the course racing event. What was it like? How was the competition? The competition was great. Uh, most people didn't really get a chance to show what they could do because the winds really weren't cooperating too well. They were fairly light, uh, not a whole lot of waves, so my board did really well. Well, out of about 60 contestants, you got two firsts and two seconds, so what was your advantage? Uh, mostly equipment. Uh, both Char myself and Charlie Mesmer, who got second, were sailing my father's boards, which are pretty good. Um, they have really flat tails, which is good and moderate to light air. Plus, I've been racing for quite a while. Congratulations, Rob. Thank you. Maui blows almost all the time. If it's five knots on Oahu, it's 15 knots here. And there are also some really good spots like Hokipa, where the surf and the wind come in pretty good directions to each other, make it great for wind surfing. Pretty much the wind direction is perfect, and it catches the biggest waves also. It's kind of a half moon bay, so it's kind of a natural arena for photographers and stuff, and everybody really seems to get turned on by the place. Julie, the competition out there is really rigorous. What's it like for a woman? It's just as tough for the women as it is for the men, but we're up against the, the best in the world are here. Hold on to your sails for the windsurfing explosion. Windsurfing has already amassed a huge competitive network with regional, national, and world championships and will soon be an Olympic sport. The sports champions are all here on Maui's scenic north coast. Mike Waltz fresh from his world championship victory in Japan.
the incredible Robbie Nash, who won his first world championship at the age of 13. 23-year-old Richard White has rapidly emerged as one of the sport's top contenders. Here, the young designers and competitors test and refine their equipment, searching for more speed, more control, lighter weight. These innovators are competing to be the first to complete the still elusive and radical 360-degree aerial loop. They put the women against the men, which seems almost unfair in this competition. But we only had five women, so I guess you just go for your best. The international field of men competitors is indeed only being challenged by five women, headed by California's Rhonda Smith, sailing for O'Neill wetsuits. The women will rely on finesse and grace, confident of their abilities, as they go one-on-one -on -one against the men. The techniques for uh, wave riding and surfing back in, is that for only advanced people? Well, it, it helps if you have surfing background, but most of the people out here don't, and you can see they're all pretty good. It helps to have wave judgment and wave reading, but just by windsurfing too, it's similar to surfing, so once you get on a wave, you can usually figure out what's going on, and you have a lot more speed than you do on a surfboard. What's your strategy going to be for the rest of the competition? Um, slalom, go as fast as I can and not fall, and uh, wave surfing and jumping, just do my 